Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple of weeks ago, I actually posted a video um, showing you guys how I use my iPhone to make YouTube videos. Y'all, that video literally blew up. So um, I know in the video I talked about the type of tripod you're supposed to use and I talked about um, basically really just how to use your phone to record videos. I talked about lighting and stuff, but I decided to make a part two to that video because I don't think that I was really specific enough and I, I couldn't find the stuff for the tripod, but I found it, so that's why I wanted to make this video. And also, I just wanted to show you guys a few inexpensive cameras that you can use if you're just starting YouTube. So, let's get into the video. So I tried my hardest to find the link to the tripod, this tripod right here. I tried my best to find the link to the tripod that I ordered. So guys, um, if I can find the link to this tripod right here, I'm telling y'all it's really like, it's an inexpensive tripod. I said it was about like $13, but here's how it looks. I told y'all that, let me make it smaller. Alright, so I told y'all that I use my, um, I use this one now for my wig heads, which is why it has styrofoam on it. But this is uh, the tripod, and the name kind of faded. That's why I'm just going to look up the name. I'm just going to, like, try to find the link. But, um, it comes with this. This is what I was talking about, the adapter. And I thought that this adapter was, like, really cool to be so cheap. Like, it tilts. Let me see how I do this. See, it can tilt. Y'all feel me? I don't know. Let me put it on the tripod so it can like make sense. Okay, so do y'all get it now? So like it's like a little knob. I'm not sure what that does. Probably breaking something. But I forgot how to use this. So, oh I see, I see. So undo this. And then like you can move it. And let's tighten it. Let's tighten that mug back up. And then you can do this. Uh how you move it you use this right here to like like it's um say if you're cooking or something and like the camera's like straight you can like tilt it so you can like record cooking or i don't really know just certain certain things you want to like have different angles i guess this right here is like the adapter so remember when i told y'all that you can use the thing for the selfie stick this right here is what I was talking about. This right here comes on the selfie stick. You feel me? And if y'all didn't understand that you can take that off, you can take that off. So I took this off of the selfie stick. Um, Again, you can also use it with the selfie stick. But in this case, I'm using it without it. So I took it off the selfie stick. And as long as the tripod has an adapter with these this little screw thing right here, they it's going to work. It's going to go. So let's put it on there. kind of broke mine but I can still show y'all and I'm doing it that tight because you want to make sure it's sturdy because if it falls when you're recording like nah we don't want that so this is how the whole tripod looks um I'm trying to think, I think this tripod did come with one of these, so I don't think you have to worry about that. But this is how the whole thing looks. I know in the other video, I was just like giving y'all, telling y'all bits and pieces, but this was about $13. And as y'all saw before, it extends, like that's a good little length there. So yeah, so it looks like this. And if you don't have this part, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you because that's literally the adapter. Um, even if you get a ring light, you're going to have to order the adapter separately, but you can't really put your phone on anything if you don't have an adapter. I think it's harder to do that. Maybe you can like conjure up something, but I think it's really harder to do that. So I'm going to find the link to this tripod and I'm just going to let you guys know because it's a amazing tripod. Um, I don't really know what to tell you guys if you're standing up because I'm 5'4 and when I stand up, this is like literally like my height. But if you're taller, I don't know, but it works perfectly if you want to sit down and record like it's cool but 
if you're kind of tall and you plan on using this to stand up or anything i would tell you to get a different one like maybe something taller which means that if it's taller it's going to be more expensive so yeah okay so now i'm going to be showing you some um i'm actually going to like record footage of me using these cameras so it's not just like all talk so it's two cameras that I have and I made another video where I have like a $300 camera but I don't want to put this in this video because when you're just starting YouTube you're not going to go and buy spend $300 on a camera. I, I just I don't think that's like you know reasonable. So um, I do have another camera and um, yeah I'll just link the video of where I talk about that camera in the description but these cameras right here are inexpensive and so let me just tell y'all. So this one right here I'm take this off. This is the Nikon Coolpix L110 um, and this camera is about $84 like you can get it for like $84 on um, eBay that's what I just looked up but um, this camera what I didn't like about this camera was just the fact that it didn't have the flip screen so when I got the $300 camera which I talked about in another video I was looking for something with a flip screen and it fit the description perfectly so if you want a flip screen then this wouldn't be the best camera but it's ways that you can tweak it like you can put a mirror behind it or you can just like set it up and you know record just staying in the same spot um it's definitely ways around it and this camera is really good for just 84 dollars um i'm pretty sure that's not how much it costs but it's kind of like a uh, camera that's kind of outdated so yeah and then we have this camera which is the canon power shot xs um 60 is y'all i'm not like a tech person at all i'm literally just reading it off the top right here but i love this the little flip uh flash option this camera also does not have the flip screen but canon cameras i'm so serious this camera right here is about 125 like canon cameras are so amazing and i use this and the quality is amazing so like the only thing that if this camera had like a flip screen it'd be perfect like seriously it'd be perfect so um yeah this i used this for a good while but i just got irritated because it didn't have the flip screen and i wanted to see myself so yeah but i'm going to show you um how these cameras look uh, with my ring light so so as y'all can see uh this is a nikon um it's not bad but in the corner of the screen you can see that i'm using a mirror because i i can't see myself and so i'm not sure like in that when i'm looking at the mirror it looks like everything is you know straight but i can't like really see but the quality is you know when you're starting out it's okay so what do y'all think y'all effing with this quality y'all think y'all gonna go buy this if you're just starting out like i actually have not i made like two videos with this and i just got frustrated because i was just like I can't see anything and that's what made me decide to use my iPhone so yes I had some cameras but I decided to use my iPhone just so I could see myself yes mm -hmm. I think that's crucial though because like I need to be able to see what I'm doing if I'm wearing lipstick and I don't, like what if you get on my teeth like you can just look up there at the little thing to see if it's on your teeth but right here I'm just flying solo you feel me so yeah So uh, this is the Canon and the same thing kind of applies. Um, I'm still looking in the mirror. So yeah, um, I had to have my camera because I actually have to record you guys so y'all can see like my setup right now. But um, so this is the quality of the Canon. Again, this quality, oh my gosh, it's not bad at all. Especially if you're using like this and then you're gonna import your videos to iMovie, you definitely can tweak it. This can be like a another Canon, another camera that you can get inexpensive. Um, 125 is not bad when I'm like using a $500 camera so you feel me it's good quality um and it's a canon like canon is amazing uh yeah so canons are good and so like how y'all feeling this quality like y'all like it i'm about to switch back so guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope i gave you like some ideas or something like um i know a lot of people said they had the 5s so you can go out and get these cameras you know and even though the 5s quality is probably still good um, I just gave y'all some options, you feel me? Because you always want to have options. It's kind of crazy to me because I'm kind of like just now realizing that I had some good cameras and I was tripping. Like, I don't know. It's just like I always wanted something, some better quality. Like, I don't know. Like, I should have been appreciative because those cameras are truly 
not even bad but i'm a perfectionist so it's just like i can't like it has to be perfect for me so that's why i guess i kept wanting more um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful um don't even worry about anything guys i will put every single link of everything i mentioned in this video and with the links you can do whatever you please with them somebody mentioned how to record with your iphone and they was just like what if you don't have any space trust me i have been there i have been there you just have to go through your photos because i have 21,000 pictures and i have i think i have a 64 gigabyte uh, iphone 6 plus so go through your pictures go through your music um i don't have music on my phone so i think that's probably why i was able to do that i kind of just listen to spotify and even if if i didn't have enough space to record my videos i would delete apps and just wait till i finished and then re-get the apps like it was it was a process that just like took a lot of effort but um delete them pictures delete them apps and then um record your video thank you guys for watching i appreciate all the love and support y'all i just hit 4,000 subscribers oh i'm so excited like i remember when i was at 100 like i'm truly grateful um thank you guys for just sticking with me and listening and watching my videos i appreciate all the love and everything um so subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video.